But while we're incredibly excited about this idea, we also realize that it's just a step in part of a much longer evolution and adaptation. You see, every time a new technology has come out in our industry, um, anything like what we're seeing today, we've had to adapt. And the irony is that every time a new technology does come out, the studios fight it with all vigor. Um, and yet, it's been the biggest growth driver for them each time they fight it. The DVD, for example, was originally called by the studios the studio killer. And it, they fought as hard as they could to stop DVDs. And it turned out to be the single biggest growth by multiples that the industry had ever seen. When Netflix was first introduced, and it was just a DVD mail order and company, uh, and we signed a very large deal with them, created something called the SVOD window, um, or, or SV, uh, VOD window, the large studios, meanwhile and prior to, resisted Netflix again with all vigor. And I know today that seems silly, but this was just a few years ago. And in fact, there were specific mandates within studios that they would not work with Netflix. They could not provide any content from the top down to Netflix. And yet if you look back, you, you, can, you can find quotes from, and I'm not going to name names, but CEOs and chairmen of large media companies called Netflix a joke, a flash in the pan, no competition, not worried about it. Today Netflix is a $21 billion company. So innovation, it's such an easy principle, adapt or die, but our industry has always been scared of it. Even though history shows that every major evolution in our business, despite those fears, leads to exponential growth, our industry is scared of it. So the key is to embrace disruption, change early, don't react to it decades later. And so while it may be tempting to take baby steps, um, at Relativity we've never been so good at that. So we're taking giant leaps.